Hey, what's up, YouTube? Here's another video by Ratchets and Wrenches. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to properly diagnose and fix uh, problems with your secondary air injection system or your uh, secondary air pump. And this is going to be done on a 2004 Volkswagen Passat with the 1.8 liter four cylinder engine. But this should apply to uh, to uh, to almost all the Passats with you know slight variations that have the air air pump. Yeah, but uh. Yeah, it's, uh, it seems to be a common problem with these cars, and uh, you know sometimes it turns out to be a really easy fix. Other times you gotta need to the, replace the air pump, but that's uh, usually not a big deal either, as I'm about to show you. Okay, so usually first notice a problem with your air system, air pump system, is uh, when you get a check engine light, and uh, you know it's, you run the, you read the, you get a reader, and you get the code, and it's usually something about your in air injection system or your you know insufficient flow or incorrect flow or something along those lines. I already fixed the problem in this car so I don't remember the exact code but uh, you know the way you wanna first thing you wanna do is uh, get in the car after it's been sitting overnight or a couple hours at least so basically you know the air pump usually it kicks in after a cold start you know it's, uh, it supplies uh, oxygen um, so you know your uh, it helps the car uh, get, warm, get uh, warmer sooner and helps with emissions so it only works and only runs uh, after a cold start so what you want to do is get inside your car and it's pretty loud uh, you you will hear it but if uh, you know if you're worried that you're not gonna hear it or you want to make sure just park uh, next to uh, where the right side of the car is next to a wall or something or in your garage and roll up your right side window and uh, I mean roll down your right side window and then uh, you go ahead and start the car and let it run for a couple seconds and then you turn it off and then you should hear a loud. Uh, it's it's a uh, you should hear the pump uh, turning off. It basically sounds like a loud vacuum cleaner, right when you turn it off. And you will hear it again. You know if you don't worry that it's gonna it's not it's pretty noticeable. So uh, I'm gonna do this on my car, and uh, I do have to say I have a really loud exhaust leak. <laughs> so don't listen to anything while the car is running. Just uh, pay attention to uh, right after I shut shut off the car turn off the car okay so here we go right there hopefully you guys heard it I'm gonna do it one more one more time there we go it's winding down so yeah if you're uh, so if you're uh, if you can hear your air pump, here's what you do next. Okay, so if you do hear your air pump, the problem is either your uh, the tubes that go in and out of the air pump or your combi valve or uh, or combination. Uh, but what I find is that it's usually one of the tubes is uh, corroded and it's got a crack in it and it's uh, it's having problem uh, supplying enough air. And the way you want to check that is well, the first uh, the intake tube is uh, there's covers here, so you remove these covers. And then this is the intake tube that goes to your air pump from your air filter housing. So you just want to check, make sure everything is is uh, you know connected and uh, it doesn't have any cracks. You want to follow this down. And uh, I guess it goes without saying, you need to remove your uh, bumper cover. And uh, you don't have to, but it helps a lot. Um, and it's really easy to do. I got a video on it if you want to check out my uh, channel. And uh, there's your air pump right there. That's your air pump and this is the tube that comes out of it this is the exhaust tube from the air pump to your engine and you also want to I jerry rig this already because there was this one was cracked but I got a new part online for 20 bucks uh, and you can get it off I'm sure if you look around on eBay you can get the same price uh, dealer wanted 100 bucks <laughs> yeah so yeah you want to check this tube and make sure it's uh, not cracked like mine was and uh, and this is the, the intake tube that comes from the air filter so you want to follow this up and make sure this one is all, also isn't cracked okay so uh, if you inspect these both carefully and if you can't find anything make sure you really look around because this one goes all the way goes that wraps around here and goes inside and connects to, to a metal tube that runs to your uh, combi valve um, so yeah inspect these carefully and if they're fine the problem is probably relies with your com combi valve and uh, if not, just uh, replace these tubes and, uh, you know, 
shop around and you can get a good deal on these uh, on eBay probably instead of running to the dealer especially since uh, you can have this check engine light for uh, quite some time and you won't really uh, run into uh, you won't damage anything in here as far as your engine is concerned okay uh, but if you can't hear your uh, air pump kick in here's what you want to do next okay so if you do not hear the air pump kick in what you want to do is uh, go ahead and remove this cover that covers your battery and your uh, brake master cylinder in this box and then what you want to do is get these three bolts out of this box and push this up then on this side you're going to see a 140 amp fuse and a relay those are both for your air pump you want to get them both out and test them both uh, make sure the fuse is not blown the relay you want to get a multimeter and check for both resistance and that and then uh, that it clicks on and off and uh, you make sure you want you want to do this properly and then so look up uh, videos if you have to on YouTube to show how to do this right and uh, after testing that if they both check out good you want to go over to your air pump which is down here on the right side of the engine and uh, you want to get this uh, connector off get a 12 volt power supply get it you know get it from your battery or you can use a battery of a wireless drill you want to connect it to your air pump and make sure you get the power on the ground right and then uh, if the air pump is good it will kick on if not then uh, you need to re replace your air pump what I did again was I went to a junkyard I took my uh, my uh, the battery from my uh, wireless drill with me and I uh, went around to a different couple of Passats this is actually a pick your parts kind of a junkyard so I went around and connected it to different uh, air pumps and I got the one that worked I got it for 25 bucks versus 30 300 something from the dealer so save the money a lot of money there and I'm sure you can do the same and uh, yeah what happens is over time uh, water collects in, into this uh, in, in the air pump it's just a bad design it happens to almost all the Volkswagens and uh, it goes bad um, also I worked on other Passats uh, the, the problem was with the relay and uh, that turned out to be uh, the only thing I needed to replace so I guess it depends um, hopefully for you guys it's the same it's just a relay and not the pump or one of these tubes um, so yeah I think that should cover almost all the bases as far as diagnosing the air pump so uh, yeah hope this video helps you guys out there if I missed something or if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them below and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up Alright, see you guys uh, next time. Thanks. Thanks for watching.